Hi, and welcome to 3DMotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior 3D modeler. In this volume, we're going to continue the work that we've started on this particular vampire stake launcher. We're going to focus on stuff towards the middle and front of the weapon. We're going to go ahead and create some of these shapes and then cut into them as we need to. We're going to snap vert to vert to create some polygons. We'll do a little symmetry so that what we do to one side will actually do the other mirrored side without us having to create both sides at once. We're then going to continue with the edge extrude to be able to create the different pieces we're going to need. We'll then look to do uh, the top bars that support the entire piece all the way across. We'll make a copy of the, the main bar to scale it down to fit the top bar support and then use some of the same polygons to then create the little uh, gizmos that hold the bars to the top of the weapon itself. We'll use a little freeform deformation to scale in some of the polygons on a couple of the pieces. We'll then look to work the front of the weapon, which is the barrels. We'll use beveling to create some of the edges and then, of course, uh, check the smooth groups on that. We'll then go ahead and kit bash a little bit more, take something we've already made, make a copy of it, and pull it over. The last thing we'll work on is the grenade launcher housing. We'll go ahead and work on that and then, of course, mirror that as well. Thanks for watching 3dmotive.com and let's get started.